administratively, what do you think of athletics in Nigeria? Um, that's hard to say. Um, I feel a lot can be done, you know. There's a new board now, so I hope the promises they've made will come into light. If they don't, don't expect medals. As I always say, don't expect too much. Don't put on your TV putting pressure on me, Blessing, or whoever, saying, oh, yeah, we're going to win medals. But you don't know what we've gone through, you know. As I said before, I've come on the show and said, if not doing a phone call to me and say, or to anyone, say, how are you doing? How's life? How's training? That goes a long way. Rather than you leaving me for eight months and when it's championship time, you're telling me you need to win a medal. It doesn't work like that. You need to care for the athletes. You need to put everything in place for them so that you don't even need to call them. They'll go out and, and perform for you. So this new board, are they doing that? I'm going to say new board. Yeah. Are, are they showing you guys those signs that... I've not heard anything. I don't know what, what's going on. I, I think they're doing the meetings and I've not heard anything yet. Hmm. So, Mr. Shaya Ogunlewe is a national 100 meters champion uh, in Nigeria, and he's talking to us about uh, some of the things we know, but we don't know it's as deep as it does because it's in the system, and he's saying that our support goes a long way in ensuring success in athletics. Let's talk about the progress we can make before Tokyo 2020, because if I go by what you've just said, yeah. um, I'm broken, because from Rio 2016 to yeah. now, no progress. So cancel 2016. This is almost this is October, not even September. 2017 gone. Yeah. 18, 19, 20. Shaya, what should we start doing? Um, I think we're looking too far to 2020. Don't don't forget the Commonwealth Games the next year. Wow. In March. That, I remember in 2014 when I was at the Commonwealth Games and it went like that. I were here. Mm. Commonwealth Games is in March, not August. It's in March. April actually, in Australia. And the African Champs is in July, I think, in Nigeria. Wow. But oh, I, I, I honestly don't know what to, what to say because other countries are ready, they perform, they're, they're ready to go. But every athlete just needs to do their individual part. You know, I'll do my best, I'll train as hard as I can, I'll get ready and and I'll be, I'll be ready for the Commonwealth Games and the African Champs. That's why, right, because you mentioned the Commonwealth Games, yeah. Yeah. you broke me again, because Andre de Grasse yeah. suffered at that championship. Yeah, in 2014. Fast forward to 2016. <laughs> See what his country did. One of the best look, in the world. One of the best in the world. Wow. As I said, talent is there. You just need to help. You just need to support. As from my own point of view, I just need to say thank you to, um, to UBA and Temple Management for helping me with my training. You can go back and talk 2020 as much as you can, but don't forget, come on games next year, then the World Championships in Doha before 2020. So there's a lot to happen before then. Mm. And looking to next year, 20, to the come games, I, I cannot tell you that Nigeria is going to get a medal. Show you how important is it now to... to because this support is... is all encompassing. It's, yes. It's very large. I listened to uh, Daniel Igali uh, when he left Nigeria to go compete um, in Canada as a wrestler. He says his first sponsorship was a guy that owned a kiosk. Each time he's going out, the guy gives him money for his bus pass. Wow. That was his first sponsor. Wow. You see, as little as he was, as as transportation he was. was taken care of. True. How can we get everyone involved, particularly the private sector? We just have to keep begging. We have to keep pleading. Please, the private sponsors, Private individuals, please come into sports as well. You know, it's not only comedy, music. We sporting people, we need help as well. We don't need as much as the musicians or the comedians. Not that I have anything against them. But if you help us, it will go a long way. You know, you'll be able to... And I feel sports is entertainment as well. You jump, you dance, you smile. <laughs> if you score a goal, mm. you smile. If you see me win gold. And I feel it's entertainment as well. And, and I feel if they support us, it will go a long way. And they will not regret it. But as I said, the EFN, the federal government need to come into it as well. If they don't, nothing will happen. And it all has to do with the happiness of athletes. Mm -hmm. If they're not happy, nothing will happen. Happiness goes a long way mm -hmm. before any other thing. Yeah. Uh, in trying to know where we can start, how important is it for us to go back to the schools? Definitely. I came from the school system. I was Lagos State, Lagos State champion when I used to run in 2007. So I came from there, so we need to go back there. That is where the talent is. But as I said before, if these people are not seeing people like me or Blessing or any other people doing very well in their career, mm. careers, they won't want to do it. That's right. Everybody wants to be the next Mikel Obi or JJ or Kocha or whatnot. But we have 
different sports that we could do. And I feel also we need to focus on, different countries focused on different sports. For instance, Jamaica focused on the sprints, yeah. only the sprints, strictly the sprints. Wow. And look at them now. Hmm. Kenya, you don't see Kenyan guy in the 100 meters. They focused on the long distance. But they're even thinking about the field events now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a pro they progressed into That's that. Right. And I feel we need, to, we need to at least, we cannot do everything at the same time. We cannot we want to throw javelin, want to do this one, want to do swimming, want to do, focus on, focus on something. Put strength in Yeah, because we cannot, do it, we cannot do everything. We've not even done the minor ones. We cannot do everything. If you could focus on sprint, for instance, and put everything you have on sprint, in the long run, mm. you can start going into high jump, right. 2,000 meters, or whatever it is. Okay, Shaya Gulewa is talking to us right here, Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. We're taking a look at athletics in Nigeria. Shaya is talking about support, support, and more support. And it's also mentioned that we need to go back uh, to the school system if we want to get it right. You can talk to us, you can be part of the program. Let's hear from you, particularly after listening to everything Shaya has talked about. Uh, feedback mechanism is still the same on Twitter, channels on the school, sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. Just, just Let's be part of nation building as we count down to Nigeria's independence. And look, if you want to go back, athletics is part of the success story. Uh, I don't know how much time we've got now, but um, I'll engage Shaye Ogulewe on Usain Bolt. But let's just see if we can take uh, some of your messages. And then when we come back, we'll talk about uh, Usain Bolt. Let's just run through uh, this one. Uh, updates coming from Taekwondo. We told you that they're going to be having at the Nigeria Open sometime in December this year. You guys are talking about that. Well, let's go on this quick break now. When we come back, uh, Usain Bolt quitting from athletics. What does Shaya think about that? Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Welcome back to Sports Now Channel's television. Uh, Nigeria's fastest man, Shea Egole, is with us. Shea, in one minute, you send Bolts. Is out of athletics. Sure. What does that mean? Um, you send Bolt is my hero. I'm sure he inspires a lot of people as well. You know, and I feel him going just opens the way for artists like me and other ones in around the world. You know, and I feel who's going to be the next world champion? Who's going to be the next best in the world? Mm. So just requires a lot of hard work from everyone to actually step up and replace the great Usain Bolt. Wow, were you expecting him to win uh, gold at the World Championship? No, I was not. Why? Because it was almost... Because nobody, not everyone knows the story of Usain Bolt this year. Usain Bolt hardly trained. Mm. I don't think he wanted to be there. He lost his best friend as well in about April. So that adds to it as well. But sometimes we don't really understand that. We just see these athletes on the line. I don't understand what's gone on in their lives. And mm. we just always want them to win. Well, it doesn't work like that. But he's done. The last race doesn't mean anything. He's the greatest athlete ever. That's right. The yeah. greatest athlete ever, according to Shea Gula. I must say thank you so much for your time. Even though something, you come here, you just break me I'm with all of the I problems. I apologize. But Shea, we must change it. Thank you very I mean, much. The time right. is now for us to change it. I hope it so. Could I just be so. our mentality. I sure. don't start from there. I hope Thank so. you, Shea, and all the best for your career. Thanks for having me. So that's it, Shea Ogunlewe, National 100 Meters Champion. has been talking to us about athletics in Nigeria. I want to say special thanks to you also, wherever you are in the world watching sports tonight on Channels TV. Keep those comments coming on Twitter, Channels on the Sports, Facebook, Channels Life in Sports. That's the show on behalf of the team, the ever-winning sports team at Channels TV Sports Centre in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Austin Okonak, and I'll be back again tomorrow to talk some more sports. But until then, in everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports. Bye for now. Thank you.